Klein Chinaman here, and I've been out polishing silver. But I wanted to show you about stainless steel. So, can you get stainless steel looking back like new again? Well, to do this, I'm going to take my sterling cloth, which is just a cotton cloth that I have my sterling polish on. I'm going to set it down, and I'm going to get out a different cloth that I use for stainless steel. I don't want to mix them. So I've got my stainless steel cloth. Um, reactions can happen between sterling and stainless steel. I don't know if it will happen from the cloth, but I just am being on the safe side. And it's always uh, detrimental to, this, to the sterling, not the stainless steel. So if you have a cloth you've used for sterling, that's fine. You can move it to stainless steel. Just don't move it back the other way. At least I wouldn't recommend doing that. So here I have three spoons that are from our everyday pattern, which is called Michelangelo. It's by Oneida. There's, this was available in sterling also, but we have stainless steel. And this is what we've used every day since my wife and I got married. And so um, it's been used a while. Now, this particular spoon still looks pretty good uh, in the bowl. Some of them are scratched. This one's not too bad. But the back side, I don't know if you can tell right there, there's really no reflection whatsoever in the back anymore. Very little. I mean, it's real, um, it's real choppy. You don't really see yourself well in it. So we're going to try and see how it turns out. Now I have another spoon here that's in about the same condition. Actually, it's a little bit better. Let's see if this one, yeah. These two. So we're going to do a compare here. I'm going to go ahead and polish one and we'll see how good we get it. So I use a product called uh, Weenol for these uh, stainless pieces. It can be used on sterling too. It's not something you want to use heavily on sterling because it's, um, it's uh, pretty abrasive uh, compared to some of the other polishes out there. So I'll take this spoon here and I'm going to start just mainly the back of the bowl. There's no real reason on this pattern to polish the handle at all. Stainless doesn't tarnish, it still looks great, and it's not scratched. So there's no purpose in polishing the handle. I may blend it a tiny bit if I get a different color, but I don't think I will. I think that this is going to be just fine. I'm going to do the inside of the bowl a little bit, but mainly I'm going to be working on the outside of the bowl. Okay, so the inside I'm probably almost done with right now. Yeah, I think so. A tiny bit more. And now I'm going to do the outside. I just have my finger inside the piece, and I'm just letting my finger curve to the, to the um, shape of the piece, and just going back and forth on the scratched area on the back of the bowl and in my experience with stainless I'm gonna have to do this spoon twice so I'm getting there on the first time now and we'll see in fact I'll go ahead and I'll, well, I'll still see a little staining there as well little spots on the back too I think this was the worst spoon out of the three that I brought out so we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buff it off. I take a clean part of the cloth and just go really fast. I'm using my whole hand, this or most of my hand this time. And the faster you buff it, the better it goes. Oh yeah, this is way, way better. It's still not there though, as I said. I'm going to have to do it twice. Okay, so much better. I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time, though, before I show you, because I want to get it perfect. I still have some um, material, buffing material on my cloth, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Michelangelo really holds up well. Uh, we've been really pleased with it as our pattern, and this spoon looks almost new now. And I'm going to bring you in close in a second to take a look at it, but... It's, uh, yeah, that's spectacular. So I'm gonna buff it out real quick here with a clean part of the cloth, no compound on it. And you're not gonna see too much difference in the front, but you're gonna see a ton of difference in the back. So, let's go ahead and bring you in close. All right, so we have the spoon 
on the right, which was not done, and the spoon on the left, which was. The spoon on the right, you can see there's a little bit of staining in the bowl from the dishwasher, but nothing major. They both were in good shape on the top. But let's flip them over and see what you think now. Okay, so look at that difference. Look at how much better the one on the left is. Again, looks like a new spoon. Spectacular. Thank you.